Hi guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to show you how to do this twin size bed that will actually turn into a bunk bed as well. So if you want to order the kit for this, you can. I'll post the link below. And uh, it's very basic, super simple to do. When you get the kit in the mail, it's going to have some pieces that have notches in it. You're going to have two of those. And then you're going to have two that does not. Then you're going to have a couple of very long boards and a couple of very short boards. And then you have this frame here and then you'll have a square tool. All right, you're going to need some clips. These are just paper clips you can get at your local store or you can use clamps either way. Now, if you're going to use the Loctite super glue to put it together, I will warn you, this is MDF and it's patterned. So when you go to use this on this material, it will like instantly adhere. You won't be able to get it apart. So unless you're pretty fast and pretty um, accurate, you're going to have it off centered. So careful if you're using this. Other than that, you can use some regular um, Elmer's wood glue max, any kind of wood glue really. So for the purpose of this video, I'm going to use this here and show you how to do it with this wood glue. I'm just going to go ahead and put some wood glue along the edges. And I'm not really going to worry about the middle because the middle is going to end up just staying together because of all of the edges. All right, now you're going to have one with the edges on it and one without. You want the pattern on the outside. If you can see, there's two different types. Pattern on the outside, not on the inside. You're gluing the side without the pattern. And now you're going to take the one with the notches and the one without the notches, and you're going to sandwich them together, much like you would if you were going to be um, doing like a peanut butter and jelly sandwich or something. Okay, once you have them there, you're going to take your square tool and you're going to hold it to the ground and you're going to push it straight to the edge with that, holding it on a flat surface because that's going to help you keep this in square. That way these don't shift. Once you have them together, take your clamps and start clipping it. Make sure everything's still together. And these work great because they hold it a lot stronger than those little tiny micro clamps that you get at the hardware store. These are pretty strong. Okay, so now I have four here. The next one I'm going to put down here on the legs because I want the legs to stay together as well. Set that aside. Now you're going to do the same exact thing to the other end. Sandwich them together and make sure you're gluing together the proper size. If not, you're going to end up with a pattern that's not on the side that you want it to be on. If the glue comes through, that's okay. You can just wipe it off. Um, you can use a baby wipe or, you know, an old rag or something. very important to make sure these are square. That's why I've included this square into the kit. That way you can make sure you have it very accurate. Because if not, your bed will sit wonky and when you go to stack them, they will not stack. And that is if you want to stack them. And again, this is a very, very basic bed. This is going to be like one of the easiest kits that you're going to come across. And for those of you who don't follow my Facebook page, I've decided to take y'all's advice and start doing kits. I invested in a laser and um, everything's going to be laser cut, so there's really no sanding or anything, which is nice. Alright, so now you're going to have this piece here. This is going to be the base of the bed, which is the part that sits here. 
And then you're going to have these long pieces, which is going to be the side of the bed. Then you have these four pieces here, which is the bottom of the bed. And then I forgot to pull this one off the board. And this is a very small 1 8 inch, which is going to go on the bottom under here. All right, so we're going to let that sit for a few minutes and set up. And then we'll get busy with the rest of the kit. All right, now that you've done that, you want to take your long pieces that you have here and you want to glue them in place here. Now for this, I'm going to use some crazy glue because I need this to set up pretty quickly. Don't overdo it with the glue. Just put a tiny drop in there. I'm gonna have to redo mine, hold on. Sorry about that. The glue dried up on the tip. I like the other ones better, but I think they're trying to modify the tube of this for some reason all right so you see it's just a tiny drop in there you don't want too much because crazy glue when it starts coming over onto the wood it stains it now make sure the pattern side is out and then the other side is in you're going to place that in there and you're going to use the square tool to square it up And let it set up. It should only take a second or so. pattern side out. Repeat that process on the other side. Now you want to put some crazy glue inside that hole. All right, so I'm going to save this for a more messier project that needs more glue, and I'm getting a new one because it's driving me crazy not getting it out of there. All right. Make sure it doesn't come out. Yep, it's coming out okay. All right, now this one's going to come out pretty quickly, so I have to be very careful. Let that settle down in there for a second. If you wipe off your glue lid, it might not do what mine does, but it does that to me. Okay, so um, this is the base for the bed. You're going to take these two notches and you're going to put it in those two notches. Now you can put a line of wood glue here if you would like which I normally do, I just forgot. Just to give it the extra hold and then I tap it out of the way so it's not exactly on that spot, all right? Now, you're gonna go ahead and do the same thing with this one that we just did. All right now you're going to put glue here, 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 and here. And then we're going to sandwich these all together. Pushing that in first and then Putting the sides in and holding that in place. Now you want to make sure it's squared up. Make sure this is square because if this isn't square, that's where you're going to run into problems. Okay, let that set up. 
Okay, now you want to turn it over, and what you're going to do is you're going to run a bead of wood glue, just a bead of wood glue, right along that edge. Make sure you get a nice bead and a fine tip dispenser is the best way to go. I think I got this at Hobby Lobby like a couple years ago, so you could probably find it on Amazon. I don't know that you're going to find it on Hobby Lobby anymore. Okay, remember the wood side goes up and the other side goes down. You're going to squeeze that in there just like that. And then this one's going to go down at this end and you're going to squeeze that in there as well. And the point is, is to get that bead to come up on this edge here so that you're covering all of the bases. Okay, now that piece that I was telling you earlier that I forgot to put on here, we are now going to attach that. That goes right in the middle. I mean, and it's not really a support piece. It's more of a decorative piece because if you had a head and foot board with a metal frame, then this is what you would actually see. So that's why that's like that. All right, now to get rid of your excess glue, I just take a blade and I just go right down the edge, just like that. And then I get rid of it. If any glue squeezed out on the top, you want to make sure that you get that before it dries. Otherwise, you'll have little bubbles kind of like we have here, and then you'll have to sand that. Which isn't absolutely horrible, but then you lose the blackness from where the, ra the laser burns the wood. Okay, so now you have two beds that you can stack on top of each other or you can set them side by side in a little boy's room. Now if you want to stack them and you want them to stay together, you can always put a little piece of wood here and I may end up adding that into the kit, I'm not sure. But you can always add a little piece of wood here and glue it if you like. Personally, I think that um, keeping it separated is a cute way or since dolls don't move, you can always just set them on top and this part here comes out a little bit rounded so when you stack them don't move it to the edge this way because it's not exactly on the edge if you can notice that's rounded right there so it's not straight it's rounded for the decoration of the bed Or side by side so basically in this kit you're gonna get two beds now there is another kit that is just like this the only difference is is actually there's a couple more kits I just haven't gotten to them all but the only difference is with the one that looks exactly like this the headboard is taller than the footboard so if you're on my website and you see both of them make sure you're looking for the one that says double bunk And again, you can just glue it together if you like as well. Now, the other bunk bed that I have for the girls that I have not done the video for yet, that one is automatically together. You cannot separate it. But I thought this would be cool because when my kids were little, they had bunk beds that were just like this. They went together or they could be separated. And I thought that was a pretty interesting feature to have. So I decided to go ahead and make some. You know, and if you bought two kits, you could kind of stagger them like that then you could have a triple bunk. Be kind of cool. You could do different things. All right, well, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe, leave a question, suggestion, or comment below, and I will see you in the next video. And there are lots and lots and lots of um, kits that I'm gonna be posting because I've been working um, for like the last month and a half on making them. So stay tuned. Um, there's a whole bunch of stuff. It's stuff that you guys have never seen before. And uh, it'd be interesting to uh, 
see how you like the laser and stuff so leave a comment below or if you have a suggestion put it in the comments you know I'm open for options and I'm really um, intrigued by everything that this laser can bring to life when I start illustrating. Alright, thanks a lot. Have a wonderful, wonderful day.